What's up, guys? One of the more interesting nights uh, of decisions for you to make. Uh, obviously, the weight misses made things a little bit challenging. So I guess, I, can you? How, how difficult was it for you to pull the trigger and say, we're going to bring Hadley in here even though he missed weight? So when I left the back room, my instructions were not to sign this guy. And uh, according to, to Hunter, Sean and, and, and uh, Mick stormed out of the room when I did and took off here tonight. So they're not happy about it. I, I just have a gut feeling that this kid has something special. And uh, I broke all my own rules. So broke my own rules and, and didn't listen to what they, what they said. So hopefully I'm right on this and, and uh, this kid doesn't make a dickhead out of me. <laughs> How much can you go into the extracurricular stuff that you kind of mentioned there that, hey, we, we hear you're kind of a little trouble back? You know, oh, it's just, uh, he wasn't very friendly. He's not a very popular guy around here this week. So, um, I, you know, he, he seemed shocked when I told him that. I said, come on, you, you, you got to know. But I, I just saw him out in the hallway and he said, listen, I'm really, I said, don't worry about it. Yesterday is yesterday. Let's focus on tomorrow. So let's let's make this a great relationship from here on out, and let's do great things together. So hopefully the, that's the case. You think the matchmakers give him, like, the hardest road possible I mean, just to <laughs> get back at you? <laughs> Probably. Good luck to him, though. That, kid, that kid's a talented kid. You know, I like the way he fights. He's super aggressive. I like the way he fights off his back, you know. When's the last time you saw a kid that busy on his back? Um I, I screamed to him, who the hell's your jujitsu coach? You're, you're a purple belt? That's crazy. So I think he's special. Broke all my own rules. Pissed off the boys. So we'll see if I'm right or wrong. I mean, does this open the door for people moving forward? Or should people realize this was just a unique opportunity and you're, you better make weight when you're here? Open the door? Yeah. I mean, you saw the last kid didn't make weight. So when you don't make weight, you don't make it. You know, you, you don't get signed if you don't make weight. This was a, a, a special case that I, uh, you know, broke all my own rules and didn't listen to those two. <clears throat> Is it hard for you to look at a guy like Christian Rodriguez who didn't make weight and say, wait a minute, that guy did. Why, why can't I? No, he's young. And uh, listen, and Christian looked, looked good tonight. He didn't perform like this kid performed, you know. Uh, you, you know, and, and, and the thing is, he's 25 years old. He, he's going to get back out there. He comes from a great team, get some more fights. And when, when, when Christian Rodriguez is, is 27, 28 years old, he'll be around. Yeah. Uh, I did want to ask you, Dana, since we didn't have you this past weekend, what you thought of uh, Marina Rodriguez's performance in the main event on Saturday night and where you think she stacks up in that division because she looks like a real uh, a real. It was a great team. fight. I, I thought it was a great fight. And... Um, yeah, I mean, she did. She did what she needed to do to win that fight. Yeah, it was awesome, and I, and I thought that uh, Mackenzie looked awesome too. Yeah, I wanted to ask you because I think a lot of people are saying uh, Marina versus Joanna and Jacek would be a phenomenal fight. Uh, stylistically, it would be amazing. Can you give us an update on Joanna and kind of where she stands? And is that a fight that could be made? Because it seems like it'd be a lot of fun. That is a fun fight. Um, I, I don't disagree. You, you know, I love Joanna and Jacek. You know, I've had a great relationship with her since day one. And, you know, I know fighters don't get paid around here, but Joanna on Jacek is very rich. And, you know, she's living her best life. Go on Joanna on Jacek's Instagram and, you know, she's living it. So I, I think that I think that she's taking fights that really excite her. I don't know if this one does. I'll, let, I'll find out, though. Hopefully it does. I think it's yeah. a great one. Uh, I did want to ask you in that division, because we're looking at the title situation, Carlos Barza has made it clear, like, hey, I think I'm just going to sit out right now. I think I deserve the winner uh, of the title fight in New York. Do you agree that, that she would be next? And, you know, is there any way Marina slips in there? Carlos has to fight. I don't ever agree with that. I mean, you, you've seen what happens in the past. Uh, you know, when you try to sit out and wait for a title fight, it usually doesn't happen, you know. Stuff never falls the way that it's supposed to. Then you end up sitting out for too long and people start to forget about you. And it's, it's never a wise decision to just sit out. If you get offered a fight, you should take it. 
And two last ones for me. I want to ask you about the main event this week. You talk about missing weight. Aspen Ladd, of course, missed weight. Now she's headlining a show, um, clearly moving up a weight class, which it seems like she needs to do. But there's a lot of people that are saying, what are you doing? You're, you're rewarding this girl that missed weight by giving her a main event. So I, how do you look at the main event this weekend? Yeah, we'd be rewarding her if she was fighting at 35. I mean, she's fighting at 45. She's moving up a weight class, which is what she needs to do. The girl's ready to fight. She's got to fight. Um, she's obviously talented. She's one of the most talented, uh, you know, girls in the world. So, um, yeah. All right, so last thing for me, I did want to ask you, ESPN reporting the release of Luis Pena after his uh, issues this week. I'm just curious, kind of what led to that decision, and is this maybe a, an example of things to come? Uh, because I think a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what can the UFC do in situations like this? Well, I mean, this, 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 this was a bad case. And we knew that he had problems before um, that we were trying to help him with. And, uh, yeah, this, this is a pretty nasty one. I don't know if you guys read the police report, but, yeah, this one had to happen. I mean, does it, it, the question, you know, comes in, could something like that happen to John Jones as well? I mean, he was obviously details a little bit differently. I don't know that we know everything yet, but... I mean, is that a possibility if, the, if it turns out the details are as bad? Something like that could happen to anybody. Yeah. Could happen to anybody. Hey, Dana. Yeah. Going back to tonight with, with Jake, I think we can all sort of read between the lines that maybe there's an attitude problem this week. Um, is he going to be considered as being on probation? Like, if he comes to the next fight and he kind of misbehaves or is a bit disrespect, disrespectful to people, is he gone? I mean, I, I wouldn't say that the guy's on probation. We just had, you know... I just told you guys I broke every rule that I have and pissed off the boys. And he and I had a man-to-man -man talk backstage. And, you know, um, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. You know, it's not like he's on probation. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, it's like what we were just talking about a second. It's like we're, we're in a fight business, man. It's a, I mean, I say this to you guys every week. This is, this is, this is, a, this is a tough business. And not everybody's nice. And not everybody says nice things and not always, uh, you know, nice things happen. But listen, the, the, the least you can do is when, when you come here, I mean, you guys know as well as anybody does. It's a very professional organization for the fight business. And, uh, you know, my staff treats everybody with respect and we, we, we try to do everything the right way. And, you know, I would expect that when you come here, you would treat my staff the way that they treat you. So, um He's not the first guy who's shown up and acted a certain way. So um, we'll, we'll just play it by ear. Is, with him, is it just a gut feeling, right? Because you could maybe say to him, okay, you can come back for the next contender series or you could be on looking for a fight like the last last go last week. Or is, is this for you just a gut feeling that you think he's so talented you want to see him progress in the UFC? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that he's ready to fight in the UFC. I want to see it. So I broke all the rules to do it. He says he thinks there might be a difference in humor in the U.S. and the U.K. That's what he said on the broadcast. What, what, what did he say? He said he thought that maybe there was a difference in the sense of humor between the, the Brits and the U.S. people, and that maybe where. <laughs> so everybody this week thought he was an asshole because there's a uh, <laughs> discrepancy between the sense of humor. We got lots of guys from the U.K. here, um, you know, uh, and, and that doesn't happen a lot, although Bisping... Bisbing's, yeah, Biz, Biz, Bisbing's right up there too. But now, I mean, now the thing is with Bisbing is Bisbing's part of the family. He's been here for, for so long. People, you know, people know what they what they're getting from Mike. Two things outside tonight. Uh, Masvidal versus Leon Edwards. Looks like it's a done deal. It's reported as being three rounds. I'm curious, was there any consideration of making that a five round? What's the question? Would we would we make it a five round fight? I'm just curious, did you even, when when you were talking about it, talking about booking it, were you even considering doing it a five rounds? Is, is that a five round fight? It's a three round fight. Um, why? Who asked for it? I don't know if either of them asked for it, but I think fans are wondering like it's such an important fight. So, oh, you're saying to me? I want it to be five rounds. That's yeah, what I mean. got it. So we got it. No. And last thing for me, <laughs> did you happen to watch Fury Wilder in the weekend? And if yes. you did, what, what did you think about it? I thought it was awesome. I think, I think that the heavyweight fight that happened on Saturday, and let me just tell you this, going into it,
my, 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 my thought process was for what, what, why, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, what's his name just got beat. Um, uh, Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what, what, why, why do this? You know why? Because boxing needed that boxing needed that fight. It was an incredible heavyweight fight. I thought both guys fought their asses off and, uh, for fury, to come in at 277 pounds and, and, you know, fight the way that he fought, get knocked down, get back up, keep fighting. It's just, it's exactly what boxing needed. So glad it happened. And congratulations to both of them, everybody involved in the sport of boxing. Cool. Dana, uh, I know this all the weeks leading up to this, you've always been praising the matchmakers and what they do. Have you ever, obviously you're the boss, what you say goes. Have you ever went against the boys? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we, we fight every week. We fight every Tuesday, okay? Every Tuesday we go into a room and we end up fighting about something. So it's part of the process. <laughs> So if it comes back to, have, have they ever, have you ever picked your way and then they come back and say, see, Dana, we, 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 we told you, we told you not to do this. I'm never wrong, though. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, you, trust me, yes. Yes. And, uh, y y you know, but, but, but uh, the, way, the way that I do this is I, I obviously surround myself with people whom I respect and I respect their decision. And I listen to the input that they give me, and then I make decisions based off their input. I, I admit 100% that not only did they tell me not to do this, but I broke every rule that I have in dealing with somebody like this. Um, but for some reason, my gut told me that this kid is special and, and I should sign him. And last for me. A lot of people were surprised with the, the rebooking of Aspen Ladd to fill for this card, where a lot of people almost felt like it was rewarding her after the weight miss and that fight sort of falling out. What was the reasoning behind putting her into this uh, fight with Demont? You know that you just asked me it, verbatim the same exact question that he did. Literally, no, he did. like he gave you the question to ask again because he didn't like the answer that I gave him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again then. <laughs> Is that what happened there? <laughs> like verbatim, the same question. You might want to rewind your camera there and listen to what I said. <laughs> if we're not rewarding her. She's moving up in weight class. She's moving up to 45. If, if we kept her at 35 and gave her a main event, that would make sense. The girl's in shape. She's here to fight. She didn't make weight, but she's going to move up a weight class now. So... Um, yeah, I don't think we're rewarding her, but we're getting her a fight. Fair enough. Thank you. I think it was slightly different than his. <laughs> Are you going to ask me the same question now? <laughs> Is that it? You guys know him? Yeah. Just uh, curious, Dana, thank you for another great contender series. Volkanovski wanted that 55-er. Uh, any chance he does get that 155, or does he wait for the winner of Max and uh, Yair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we'll, we'll wait till that fight happens. Before we make any other moves anywhere. Cool? Yeah, thank you, sir. Oh. Thank you, guys. Yep. Uh, how was the decision on uh, moving Davis and Morena to January? Moving the fight? How was the decision? Yeah. Why did you decide to move the Brandon Moreno fight to January? Why, why did we move it to where? January. I don't remember. I don't remember why. I mean, does it matter? <laughs> Did you have plans in January and you're going to miss the fight now? <laughs> no, I mean, just wondering why before you, you had three title shots in December and why he's moving. He, he, he just came to the U.S. to train with a, a his Cerudo. Just checking why. Yeah, something must have happened that we needed another fight in January, so we moved it. But I, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember. Thank you, guys. Oh. So, Following on, on, on that, uh, is uh, reported that Anaheim is, uh, is, is your target uh, venue, uh, the Honda Center. Is that a possibility, or, or are you close to, 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 to that? Yes, it could be. And that could be the reason to have Moreno closer to the Mexican? No, no, no. No, that, that's not why. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we are looking at a fight in California and Anaheim. Thank you. Yep.